The following morning on Horseshoe Island, we were greeted with a morning shower. And as we panned around and looked toward the west, we were greeted with a phenomenal rainbow. It almost looked like it was stemming from one of the little small islands off in the distance. And it was just God's beauty just showing us what a wonderful day we had in store for us. And we just sat back and just appreciated uh, God's creation. Well, good morning from Horseshoe Island. Uh, that storm that came through has kind of eased up. We saw some reef sharks over there when we were snorkeling yesterday. We, they went by us too fast, weren't able to film them, but we did film the turtles. After the showers let up, we departed from Isle La Fourche or Horseshoe Island and made our way down to St. Bart's and Janice was at the helm when we were anchoring here and it was a extremely crowded anchorage and she almost said one time she almost threw up but making several circles trying to find the ideal anchorage but we managed just fine and afterwards she was very relieved. We were absolutely amazed how many mega yachts were in and around St. Bart says this seems to be the vacation spot of the rich and famous. Get ready for another incredible lifestyles, your VIP journey into the lives and loves of today's winners who really know how to enjoy the great things of life. Well, good morning from St. Bart's. I hope everybody is staying warm back in the U.S. with their below zero degree weather. It is above zero degrees weather here. This is where a lot of the celebrities come to vacation. The main reason is, is because they can escape the paparazzi here. It's also a little more expensive here as evident of all the designer shops and stores in downtown Gustavia. There are 17 of us total on this flotilla. On our boat, we have eight passengers or souls on board and our sister ship has nine. And we're gonna all dinghy into the St. Bart's uh, Marina area there. And I think we're all just planning on just kind of venturing off on our own. I have a little bucket list. I wanna make a quick trip to the airport and watch some of the planes land. As you know, that's considered one of the most dangerous landing areas in the world. And you actually have to get signed off before you're allowed to land there.
like the light beer or not much blue is going to have flavor. Oh. The next morning we checked out uh, Customs in Gustovia. You got 24 hours to leave the country, so we took the short sail up to Anse de Colombier and spent the night there and explored there as well. Well, good morning, everybody, from Anse de Colombier, that is on the north end of St. Bart's. We slept wonderfully last night. This is a great little beach just right out here. And then we took a little hike up to this peak up in there. And as you saw from the pictures, there are a lot of goats running around. The following morning, we set sail from Anse de Colombier in St. Bart's, and we ended up doing a lot of tacking and some quite a bit of jibing as well as we headed back to St. Martin. Our port of call was going to be in Simpson Bay where we would enjoy one last night on the boat and we were going to attempt a float flotilla. We were all asked to bring floats with us and because Janice and I are Formula One fanatics we brought a Ferrari. Coming into Simpson Bay in St. Martin. This will be our last night on the boat. Well, good morning from Simpson Bay Marina. This is our last day here. We'll be on the plane later this afternoon, heading back to cold weather. Not real happy about that. Nice little mega yacht parked out there. And a few more off the stern, as you see. A lot of nice boats around here. Not happy leaving 83 weather. Well, temperature's been mostly lows of 78 and highs of 82. Just about perfect.